When you wake up on a Saturday and find that it's sort of raining or rainy outside, there is always this mental struggle: should I go out and do my weekend long run according to plan, or should I take the opportunity to improve on my recovery? As there is always room for improvement in your recovery. Uh, this time, I decided to get myself out of the door and face the rain. The summer weather in Hong Kong could be very changeable. As I started on my first climb this time, the rain had just stopped, and it was not as hot as a normal summer day, which can get to around thirty-four, thirty-five degrees Celsius with very high humidity. This September, I'm going to run the Swiss Peaks 100 race in Switzerland. The course is around 100 kilometers long, with 6,300 meters of ascent in total. So, as a rule of thumb, I think I should get my weekly running distance to above 100 kilometers, with some focus on long climbs. On the Saturday here, I had only 40 something kilometers from road running, so this weekend was essential to even getting close to 100k. Ideally, I think I should at least mimic the total distance and ascent in the race across the term of a week, with some back-to-back -back long run thrown in. But having failed to reach my weekly goal so many times, I've learned that I should be flexible with myself, both organizationally and mentally. My weekly goal doesn't live in the real world, but in the ideal world. Which I'm doomed to be always trying to approximate. Do I let the rain be an obstacle? I know I shouldn't. Everybody says embracing the element is part of becoming a trail runner, and I want to be a real trail runner in some sense. But knowing and doing are always quite distinct for me. So after my first long climb of over 900 meters of ascent and my first long descent, I began to feel the proper Hong Kong summer with all its heat and humidity on my second and shorter climb. But the good thing with this hot, wet, and unpredictable weather was that I almost had the whole trail to myself. And as I was getting closer to the second peak of this run, I could sense the rain was coming. The heat was gone almost instantly, but I have to admit that I've always been a fair weather runner. So at first, I was trying quite hard not to run on or even step on the mud or the puddles. But as the rain was getting heavier, having your feet wet or splashes around you with every step was becoming impossible to avoid. And there were some moments that I just decided to embrace the rain and everything and just run. It's definitely a freeing experience. Perhaps I have finally learned to embrace the rain or the elements, or perhaps not. My plan was to go back on the same route and do two more climbs back to the starting point, but I didn't. And my excuse for it, of course, is the rain.